Welcome back everybody to uh, Tony's Top Tips Workshop. This video is about something that I wouldn't have thought I'd have been putting on, but um, I've been getting a lot of, um, uh, I thought spam mail from a company called Temo, or how you want to pronounce it, and I thought, uh, and I wanted some t-shirts and shorts to go away on holiday with. Now I know, I, I spoke to my wife about it, and she says, oh, I order off from all the time. Um, should it's, it's great that everything comes it's not a all oh, right so it said did you want to join so i joined and um, signed up for it and and sure enough um it said that i could have something that was 100 pound for just over 20 quid and i thought gap i had various things to choose from but um i chose something bec um that is useful I didn't get something that oh I'll just see what it is um, I'll show you in a minute and uh, I'm actually quite impressed with it in fact really impressed <laughs> and as you well know on on um, on some of my oh, early videos I used to do um, strobe lights for drones and now and again I still get asked for them and and this the simple that sometimes I've done them with rechargeable batteries in sometimes I've done them with um, with a little switch on and two um, flat button type batteries in um, anyway I've been doing some for a, a gentleman um, for a rem uh, remote control aircraft that he'd, he'd doing he said would I, would I still do some I said yeah of course I will um, but we're having some problems with the printed boards actually soldering to them. Um, your eyesight is never as good as what it used to be. And I have a pair of magnifying glasses, but it just weren't... I just didn't feel it was right. Now, the ones concerned are those. Little units. Um, and I can do them size... This is the size that he specs. He sits them inside his aircraft. Uh, and they're just little switch to switch on there's two button side batteries in there and um they're quite as you can see uh, i do them the different colors that required and uh, and obviously when you're soldering these because it's all in one it's 3d printed as well as um i buy the dome obviously i don't print the dome um that just comes off i'll just switch that off it's a bit annoying they're just fastened on by two little screws as you can see there in fact just let me move you down a little bit there we are that's a bit better and i'll show you inside look um you can see inside it's a flat printed bar with uh obviously I, I put i buy them i don't make them but i've got to make the connections here right at the bottom and the very very fine connections and they're having problems with some that I'd sold to them and it just it seemed to be well shorting out or um so I'd unsolder it and then sold it again and then sure enough it it worked all right but I'll just show you um what I actually purchased as my not free gift but near enough and it was um one of the digital microscopes and you see them on Temo all the time and I thought yeah it's going to be a bit of a gimmick this it's going to be I might as well look through a magnifying glass well I can assure you it's not um, I'll take you over to it and I'll show you now right here we are <laughs> yeah you've all seen them um, and it it comes with a variety of actual accessories um, I mean it comes with a target sheet that's to um, focus in and what have you but there you can see that but I've never used it really um, it comes with a remote control which plugs in and it believe it or not it comes with a 16 gigabyte um, Oh, this did uh, micro SD card which goes in the side 
it's various buttons on it two spotlights which you can actually dim I'll show you it working in a minute um, it is really really surprisingly how well made it is um, it comes with a, a deflector shield you can put that on onto the end of the microscope and it just cuts ambient light out round shields it from shadows and that this is a full metal base it's not light this is quite heavy it's well constructed I'll show you around the other side a rack and pinion riser and that's you tighten that in it's like a um, a damper really you just nip it up and it, it allows it to move up and down okay full metal rod um, that plugs into the back and you can see there it's got a little um, dimmer so you can dim the spotlights if you don't too right that pulls in and out so the remote so you don't have to have that okay it's you actually manually focus it it's not a automatic focusing um, it has on this side I'll show you this side it is rechargeable it has its own battery inside it's a um, there's your memory card in there that's your charging point um, that's for your plug-in this here is plus and minus for the I believe it it, it might be for the um, screen um, I don't think there's any speakers in it I, I mean obviously why would you want speakers in it but I'll show you the size of the screen it's roughly six inch 150 mil by 85 mil okay um, so it's not a small screen I'll switch it on for you and then you can see light up the little power button there and that's the screen okay the beauty about this is and I actually used this yesterday um, as you well know in some of my previous videos you've got me um, I have a, a marine fish tank and we've been having problems with some sea horses that we had um, and we lost one of them yesterday and it, it started off with a white spot under its chin and uh, we couldn't identify it whether it were an abscess or what well it turned out it probably was an abscess but I actually used it on there yesterday when it passed away when it died I put it on a sheet of white paper and I popped it underneath put the obviously the lights move around and I looked at the underneath of its snout and yes it was it was open it looked like to be an open abscess absolutely brilliant for identifying it and what's more from the remote I could take pictures you can do it from the actual screen um, you can take pictures still pictures you can take videos um, and in actual fact one of the videos I'm going to show you from this um, in operation will be actually recorded from the unit itself okay now what I'm going to do here is I'll show you how you would actually pop a unit on underneath now the connections I've been having is um, is from the actual show you that connection let me keep it still let me focus it I will show you this um, I'll switch over and I'll show you it recorded from the actual unit itself that's how good it is and it's probably picking the, the lines upon the actual screen but you can I'll just pop this point underneath and you can see you see that that strand of cable there wait a minute there strand of cable runs from there to there what I hadn't realized well because it's such fine 
segment wire um, that when I soldered it, it was it was actually touching that one, shorting it out. Now because there's only like three volts in there, it didn't make a right lot of difference. But it was enough. I didn't see it with a naked eye, um, and you can see how poorly that has soldered. I hadn't realised, and I normally got a solder, and hence when I looked and found my soldering tip was faulty um, and that's the reason why I hadn't spotted it but from looking under here and it's amazing because if you look at the actual I'm just focusing on that I'll, I'll do all this again for just in case I get some uh, screen lines as I call them um, I'll just focus that in And you can see that's you won't believe that but that is the LED it's actually amazing what that is um, but yeah that's right on the center the LED as you can see it down there um, and I've had this about four, four or five weeks now, and you, the number of times that I've used this, I don't even put my um, head glass on, that, my headset on with the magnifying lens on, don't even use it. Um, and it, it's just getting used to moving something about underneath it. And what I do if I'm soldering, to so I can manipulate it, is I use a bit of blue tack, and I put it underneath the item the board and the unit itself the base um, so obviously it holds it firm and it enables me to hold the cable and solder it and i know it's done exactly spot on it's really good uh, just over 20 quid and it's rechargeable and the battery lasts quite a while in it and you can see at the top there that it it shows um, camera, little top left hand corner. Now that'll, that'll take stills. Is that? And I'm recording now, that's in video mode. Okay. That stopped it, and that's all through the remote. Okay. And you've got a menu. Where you can alter things and put time screens shots on it and oh yeah very good so um what i'll do is i'll just show you a bit of video um just in case um it's it's showing the screen lines obviously it, sometimes it does cameras but um if it doesn't then you won't be seeing it so Right, here we have the um, under the microscope. This is off the actual unit itself. Um, although the pictures were pretty clear, I thought I'll put it on just to show how good it is when you're recording anything. Um, obviously, there's no sound on it, so this is um, I've put sound over. Um, but that's the cable concerned, and as you can see there, it um, it's quite loose and the pointer there. Um, just showing it and it how poorly it, it had actually soldered and as I, I said earlier I didn't realize how um, poorly it had been soldered and it went to look at the tip of my soldering iron and there was it was faulty so I replaced the tip and I, I didn't re-solder this because I wanted to show you um, but I have re-soldered it and it's all about and you can see the all that little crud on it is actual um, um, flux from the solder and you can see that point in the center the big blob of solder and uh, and that how poorly it is it's like crusted on the top and it should be nice shiny and uh, like that one there uh, and uh, also as you can see those fine wires um, they look quite thick there but they're not I can assure you on that one but yeah that's it so it shows pretty clear
Well, that's the conclusion to this video. Uh, just thought I'd show you um, the little device that I got, and I've used it on numerous occasions. And yesterday, with the Seahorse, um, I couldn't see it with the naked eye, but by God, this did. Um, and I, I took some pictures of it and a video, and I posted them on a website. And I'm waiting for an answer now. You know, for 20 odd quid, um, putting watch batteries in. I put a watch battery in. Um, in two of my watches because of a collection of watches and I had to put them in and it's fiddly it's easy with this you just bit of blue tack down hold the watch down and you've got to use the two hands under the magnifying glass pop out and I'd, uh, one of my um, watches is a wind up watch and I thought I'm looking at it and I thought I can see some dirt in there oh, and I didn't want it to get into the mechanism but do you know I got it out and I got it out through using this it was really good so yeah if you shelve it and put it away for six months and then oh, I'll change the battery um, oh something's gone faulty with this I'm going to solder this just get it out and use it so there you go so right that's the ending of the video so I'm going to be doing another one um, uh, I'm on with it designing what I need to at the moment so um, just bear with me all my subscribers and I thank everybody for the lovely comments that I've received and um, and the advice um, and I would take it on board and as I always say if somebody gives me some advice and I think it's good I will do a video on it um, you know and, and pass that information on so because um, we're all here learning so right um, like and subscribe um, thumbs up if you like the video um, and as I always say until next time you be safe you be careful and bye for now